I'm going to show you how to upload videos to YouTube. Uh, pretty much any video. I've gotten some messages about not being able to upload videos that have been used with Fraps. And so here's a tutorial on how to upload videos to YouTube and how to upload videos that you've recorded with Fraps. So this is good either way. This is a good tutorial for you to watch if you're a beginner with these things. Um, so first you're going to want to find your folder that you have all of your Fraps uh, movies in. So on XP, Vista, whatever you have, I don't know if it works on Mac actually, um, you can go into your search bar and type in Fraps and then your folder will come up or you can go to computer and search for the place you installed. I installed it to HPC, which most people do, and there's Fraps, and then it shows every video that you have that you've recorded and everything. And then you just take those and you're gonna wanna open Windows Movie Maker. And you're gonna take your Fraps videos and choose which ones you want to uh, put in, in there, and you can either do import, which takes a little time, or you can just highlight the ones you want or just select one and you can just drag it in there drag and drop and it should appear and uh... i'm just gonna do one that's longer so you can see that it works i have the registered version of fraps so i don't have the watermark but it's still fraps i recently got it though so you can see the watermark on other ones but then this just shows that i have the uh video in there that I've recorded with Fraps. It should be easily compatible with Windows Movie Maker. If it's not, try saving it in a different format. Um, then you're going to want to go to, after you've added all your effects and everything that you want, uh, you're going to want to go to Publish Movie, and I recommend publishing it to the desktop. That's probably the easiest thing <clears throat> to do. And after you publish it to the desktop, it should obviously appear at the desktop. Um, this could take from anywhere to five to an hour, let's say, depending on how old your computer is. I'm hoping it's not an infinity amount of years old. Um, and it should just appear here like mine has, and then it is ready to be put on YouTube. Then you're going to want to go to YouTube. <coughs> and there's an upload uh, one in the corner uh, just video file just click upload and video file uploads probably the best one uh, the other one doesn't really work for me so I don't know why so I just use this one and what you can want to do is you want to go to browse and this sh then you can just click on desktop here and it shows all videos or actually pretty much anything on the desktop and uh, you're going to want to find your video, and if you can't find it because you got a bunch of crud on your uh, desktop like I do, then you can just type in whatever you're doing, like mine's Left for Dead, and just open that, and it'll show where it is, and then just click Upload Video. I've already uploaded this, so I'm not going to wait for it to upload. You guys can watch it. Uh, title it, Description, Tags. Tags is what's used for people to find uh, the video, so if they type in Lemons, your video will top... Uh, your video will appear even if it's not about lemons and you have the tag there then after you fill that up you just want to wait for it to finish uploading and it will say that it finished uploading <clears throat> and after it's uploaded it's still not on YouTube because it takes time to format and what you want to do then to check and see if it's done is to go to my videos and uh, then it should show like all mine are raw files which work fine because they're from Windows Movie Maker and uh, then the easiest way to tell whether it's done or not is to go to your channel and if you have your latest videos up in the big one they should appear there so basically that's all you need to know uh, then it should just appear so if you have any questions or anything you need to know just go ahead and uh, message me or leave me comments and stuff uh, the easiest way to get the uh, messages back and everything is to subscribe because I have this little thing that tells me uh, so basically, I want you to subscribe and everything will work. Uh, have fun.